So I actually, this album is like kind of fresh on my mind because I listened to it this morning on my way to school and then like I kind of finished it off on my way back. So I didn't really listen to it all in one sitting, uh, that's admittedly. However, I feel like I didn't go away too much from the experience because I honestly feel like if I would have listened to this in one sitting, it, I'm not saying it would have been much worse or nothing like that. Like it wouldn't have changed my rating, I don't think, but it probably would have made me get a little tired of it faster. Um, production is actually definitely the best part of this album, and that's by a long shot. The production is really good. Um, however, something I did notice, and I'm noticing it more now as I'm reading off like my notes and I'm looking over them one more time, this album bears a lot of similarities to Destroy Lonely's album. Not because they sound similar or nothing, but my opinions on them are kind of similar. If you remember, I thought Destroy Lonely's album, if you want to like hear fuller thoughts on it, the videos on the channel, but I thought it was very close to being okay, and it was very close to, actually, let me reword that, it was very close to being good, and it was only okay, safer to say, like, it's definitely, like, safe to say that the album has definitely grown on me, a few of the songs I listened to a little bit more, it's, I still, I think I'd still go with the same rating, I don't know, I don't really remember much about it, but anyway, I kind of have the same opinion on Goodbye Horses. Some of the deliveries he tries to do, Ian, work, but most of them really don't for me. And Ian doesn't particularly have a bad rapping performance. Like, he's not annoying to listen to or anything. It is kind of annoying because I do think Yeet is the just a better version of Ian. So whenever I listen to Ian, I'm just listening to a worse Yeet. However, he is kind of starting to find his own uniqueness and some of his like vocal qualities and stuff, which is nice to see. However, it's just not all completely there on this project yet. I do really like a couple of the songs though, like on the floor and Loco. I really like those, and I like um, I like his delivery and like the the way the hook is on Loco. I think that's cool. And on the floor, same way. I think that's great. A lot of really good hooks on here. Ian has a strong hook game uh, so far throughout the whole project, and he's just every song I've heard Ian, it had like a, it's had a good hook. This project is definitely much better than Valid Victorian, by the way. Just in case that was a question, this album is significantly better in my opinion. Um, which is nice to see that his second project, he's already making a drastic improvement. You know, Chief Keef was a nice feature. I like the Lil Yachty song. Rain, I think is how you say the other person's name. He was okay. He wasn't awful or nothing, but he wasn't particularly invigorating or nothing like that. I didn't jump up. I wasn't like, oh yeah, this is hard, but... It wasn't bad. It didn't really hurt the song that much. Um, whenever Ian gets into faster flows and faster deliveries, I think that's when songs really start to pick up. And I think he's pretty good at that so far. And he should do it a little bit more, but not obviously not too much. A lot of this album, though, it kind of just goes in my ear and out the other. Because it's kind of just nothing music. And I don't like saying that. Because I think there is something in every single song. But sometimes songs are just so bare bones. You know, I don't think... He does get a lot of comparisons to Yeet. And I do think Ian's production is really good. But I don't think it's interesting enough to be... Like, like to keep songs afloat too much. So it doesn't like keep me interested. Because a lot of times with a Yeet song, right... Let's say there's an amazing beat. Yeet has a good ear for production. That's common sense. A lot of people agree, would agree with me on that. That's not a hot take. Uh, excuse me. For me personally, if a Yeet song is kind of dying down for me, I'm not going to call it nothing music because I'm still probably going to listen to it because I think the beat is awesome. You know? There's something to it. But a lot of these songs, even though the beat is good on most of it, it's like a lot of them are just, it's not enough. You know, Ian's kind of... He has energy, but he doesn't at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. He has a very, like, flat delivery. And whenever he, you can tell he's trying to be energized, he's not really getting louder. He's not really sounding energized. His tone is just a little different. Like, his, like... It's hard to explain. Like, I know how I'm trying to say it, but it's just not coming out right, really. Um, But overall, I'd give this project, like, a 4 out of 10... It's so close to being like a five. If there was like one or two more projects on here that I would have ended up really liking, that not projects, songs, you knew what I meant. But it would have been a five. But 
it's sitting at a four. I am curious on how Ian will continue to grow his music, though, because as of right now, if you look at these two projects, it's a drastic improvement, but not necessarily at that good part yet. Will it continue to grow? I don't, we'll just have to see. If you made it to the end of this video, then I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you. Obviously, if you want to show more support, you can hit the subscribe button, hit the like, but you can also check out the links in the description to other social media links, to the Patreon for as little as a dollar and a half a month, um, as well as merch. Uh, I have too many merch listings on one of my shops, so I'm having to start another one, so there's two links in there for you to check out. That's not going to stop me from dropping merch, though. I'm still, I still plan on, you know, kick putting it out there, you know, anyway, guys, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day, and, you know, do what you got, you know, do, show me some support, please.